Hey there guys, so today we have another review and this is between three uh, East Coast IPAs. Uh, shout out to Austin for recommending this Battle Beers. Uh, anytime you guys have an idea, post in the comments below. I'll try my best and if I, I'll reply, but if I don't end up doing the video, pester me again and then maybe like, you know, I'll just like end up getting the, uh, uh, you know, all the materials together to finally do the video. But, you know, just keep pestering me if you want me to see certain videos. Uh, I, I, you know, I try to remember them all, but I can't do them all. So uh, anyway, so digging into this, this is a uh, Blind Battle Beers. Yeah, let's uh, mix these up. We have three East Coast IPAs. We have New York's Ithaca Flower Power. We have Trogues uh, from Pennsylvania, their Perpetual IPA. And then from New Hampshire, we have Smutty Nose finest kind IPA, uh, classic IPAs that you'll find you know, all over uh, New York craft beer bars or East Coast craft beer bars. So I have them nice and mixed up. Uh, don't know which one's which. Don't generally drink these beers, but let's dig in. So um, let's get the run on this one. Yeah, a little bit of floral, nice kind of like a grapefruit, juicy grapefruit kind of thing. A mm, little bit of like um, mm, a juicy sweetness to it, like a little bit of fruity sweetness. Cheers, yeah, really nice kind of juicy grapefruit. Uh, 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 ruby red grapefruit flesh, or yellow grapefruit flesh. Nice multi, uh, but um, yeah, good amount of grapefruit flavor, follows on the palate as well. Um, dominated by that, yeah, you, uh, the, malt, the sweetness of the malts really helps accentuate that kind of like juicy sweetness. Uh, medium bitterness on the finish, a little bit of pine going on, a little bit of a, a floral kind of thing going on as well. It's not bad. Um, it's all right. Um, as I drink it more, it starts to get a little bit more sweet to me. Oh, well, yeah. Let's think of this one. I actually don't know which this one is, by the way. It's just very hard. <laughs> Follows more multi sweetness, a little bit more floral action, um, less uh, juicy and fruity. Cheers. Similar IPA. Uh, <laughs> jumps out up, uh, up front with the, the bready malt. This one turns a little bit, you get a little bit of pine action, a little bit more floral action. Also getting a little bit of that kind of like, maybe touch stale. Um, these are all within code, by the way. Uh, but you know, then again, this beer has a six month uh, Best Buy. So like, you know, this one's within code as well. I actually don't know how old it is. This one's two month old, so. It's a little bit of like a funny kind of like flavor going on that I'm a huge fan of. It's a little bit like, um, earthy and a little bit dirty kind of thing going on. Not the biggest fan. Um, I think number one was better. Don't know which one number two was, but let's take this one. Ooh, wow. This one smells, um, continues the theme as number one, nice and juicy. Uh, wonderful kind of like juicy, you know, grapefruit flesh kind of thing. Also very perfumey, a little bit of floral action. Cheers. Mm. All right. Um, yeah, this one is definitely, I want to say the less like, sugary slash caramelly kind of flavors. You you do get that kind of bready balance, but um, jumps away quite nicely. You also get a medium to medium plus bitterness, a little bit of like more of that kind of like earthiness and pine, uh, which is nice. The lightest of the bunch again with that light malt character, but on the flavor profile, get a little bit, a little bit of floral, a little bit of citrus. Uh, it doesn't jump out too much, but just because of malt, oh. As I wait more, it's either earthiness or maybe some stale quality. I'm, you know, again, I'm still training on my um, uh, flaws, but maybe a little bit of stale quality going on. But pretty light. I like it. Um, I think that's the Trokes. I just remember that beer being the lightest of the bunch. Or yeah, big sweetness on this one. Mm. Big juiciness as well. Let's go with some. Uh, let's, let's guess that's the Smutty Nose. Yeah, maybe a little bit more floral actually on this one. Maybe that's the flower power. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say I like this one the most. These two are pretty close. Let's find the result, whatever, yeah. Uh, this one is a Trogues. Oh shoot, I was wrong, okay. So I didn't really like this one and there's Trogues. All right, uh, the one that I liked the most was Smutty Nose, really, wow, okay. You know. East Coast IPA, and then obviously this one's Flower Power, which I you know thought uh, was just okay. Um, so this one I like the most, and these two were just like okay, um, pretty close to each other. Yeah, sure, there you go, guys. Um, I had a hard time picking them out. I got them completely wrong. Um, not not my kind of IPA, as you you guys probably know. Um, 
I really don't know what else to say about these three beers. There you go. Ask questions below. I'm sort of lost for words. I don't really know what to say else about these beers. Um, they're East Coast IPAs. <laughs> you know, most are days. Enjoy. Uh, until next time, guys. Cheers. Later. Uh, please, again, post more comments below. Uh, let me know if you have any suggestions, if you have any comments about this. Later.